right, we have one bag of Doritos nachos in our crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and start crushing it. Once your Doritos are nicely crushed up, you're gonna wanna grab some already cooked ground beef and put it right on top of those Doritos. This is gonna be a super easy and super delicious crock pot dinner. This is about two pounds of ground beef. I probably didn't need this much, but you know what? I like a lot of meat. And we're just gonna flatten that right on top of our Doritos. We could use all of it actually. So two pounds of already cooked ground beef. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some taco seasoning, season this up, and be very generous with your seasoning because we want this to be a flavorful dish. This is my favorite casserole and I love making it in the crock pot because then I can just set it and forget it. Okay, that looks well seasoned, yum, yum, yum. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some frozen corn and we're going to use this whole bag and put it right on top you can use canned corn if you want fresh corn whatever you like but i just like the frozen the extra liquids will help make this dish so tasty okay spread that out we really want all these ingredients spread it out from edge to edge from side to side of the crock pot oh this is looking so good already that taco seasoning smells amazing now I have two cans of Rotel and I did not drain these. Right on top of that corn. Mm, smells so good, you guys. Okay, once again, I'm gonna repeat myself, spread it from edge to edge. That's what's gonna make this so delicious and so good. Get all those juices that are just gonna soak to the bottom of those Doritos. Mm, yummy. Now you're gonna wanna grab some sour cream. I'm using the squeezy bottle because this just makes it so much easier. And we are gonna just do a nice drizzle right in there. Perfect, that's about three fourths a cup. Just kind of flatten it out a little bit because it's gonna be a nice creamy layer to our casserole. Oh yeah, I love sour cream. It's my favorite ingredient in this whole casserole. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that taco seasoning so all the layers get a nice seasoning, just a little. Beautiful. All right, we're down to the last ingredient and that is my Mexican cheese. And we're just going to sprinkle that right on top. This is a big dinner, so I am gonna use about a bag and a half of this shredded cheese. Mm -mm -mm. This looks so good, you guys. Okay, just flatten that out. Beautiful, perfect. All right, this is ready. Go ahead and put your lid on, and we're gonna set this on high. Okay, so this was cooking for about two hours on high. Now it is time to try this out. Mm, it smells so good. Oh, and it cuts so easy too. Oh. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Probably should have used a spoon, but this works. Those are Doritos. Mm -mm -mm. I did tell you it was a casserole, so you can't complain to me that it fell apart, okay? Let's dig in. Mm. Oh my gosh, okay. Mm. 